my sweet bees, it's the sweetest vegan here. Today on the show, we'll be making a vegan lasagna. Now, you know, I started doing the Olive Garden recipes at the beginning of the year, and I only had Italian food, i.e. Stouffer's frozen lasagna, a couple of times a year growing up, but it was still one of my favorite things, and I am so excited to make this recipe vegan. Here we go. To hasten the process, you're going to cook your lasagna the way the package tells you ahead of time and set it aside until we're ready for it. We're going to start this recipe by preheating our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Next in a small bowl, we're going to stir together vegan cream cheese, a couple tablespoons of almond milk, pitted black olives. I use green olives because I prefer the briny taste of green olives, but you can use black olives to keep it safe. Dry basil, dry oregano, minced garlic, salt, and pepper to taste. Give that a good stir and set it aside. You're going to take a 9 by 13 bacon dish and spread one cup of pasta sauce on the bottom. I just used a jarred pasta sauce. It's really delicious. It's better than I can make at home and it's easy and simple. Just make sure that it's not too high in sodium and it doesn't contain any animal products. After you spread on your layer of spaghetti sauce, place down your layer of lasagna. I could have placed four lasagna strips on this layer, but I was naive. This is my first time making the lasagna, but I learned as the layers went on. After that, you're going to layer on zucchini and red bell peppers and your vegan cream cheese mixture. Just spread it throughout. I placed little dollops throughout and then spread it a little bit with my spoon. But you don't have to worry too much about spreading it out because the cream cheese is going to be in different places on different layers layers so you'll get some in every bite. Then you're going to repeat the process. More tomato sauce and lasagna pasta, then your zucchini and bell peppers, vegan cream cheese mixture. It's full of salt and pepper and herbs and spices and that briny olive so you want to get that throughout. It's going to taste fantastic. And you're going to finish the dish with a layer of lasagna pasta, spaghetti sauce, and instead of parmesan cheese, I'm using tahini. Now tahini is a nut butter from sesame and everybody may not like it so use it sparingly throughout or you can look up your own vegan parmesan cheese replacement but I really like tahini so I used it. Cover the dish with foil and bake it for 40 minutes. Uncover and bake for five more minutes and when it is brown on top take it out and let it stand for at least five to ten minutes so that everything sets all solid because if you don't the juices will just run out everywhere and it'll be a mess. It'll still taste good but it will be a hot hot mess literally. <laughs> Then you can cut a slice and serve immediately. Let's do the taste test. Now this turned out really, really well. I didn't know how I would like the bell peppers. I'm not a huge fan of bell peppers. I like them cooked, but I don't really like them alone. I guess I just really hadn't had them that much, but it was fantastic. The zucchini, the bell peppers, the pasta. I love carbs, love pasta. I love spaghetti sauce. And then the cream cheese acted just like a ricotta cheese would. Just, it was delicious and it was so good everything just went together so well I would serve this to people who were vegan non-vegan as a vegetable lasagna and they would probably love it too if you tried this recipe please leave a comment below and a video response even if you don't I would love to talk to you guys in the comments if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and I will see you all really really soon not two weeks but like in a couple of days I promise bye lasagna growing up um la 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 I'm just gonna stick with the first one that I did moving on